How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. I had a few quick things to check on before I moved along. Yeah, so I, it sounds like from doing that workout at Kellogg's Ranch you can eventually get a perk, but I think the workout is just one part of it. There's two other things I have to do, and one of them is sleeping, and I don't really want to sleep because I'm going to lose all my potions and stuff, and I'm already short on snake parts. I don't want to lose those because I'm not going to be able to remake a lot of them. So I'm pretty... Ca I'm, be I'm being cautious about that for the time being. I did want to run to the professor's house. That was one thing I had to deal with. Because I gave him the five scraps like an episode or two ago. And I thought that that was to get things going. And every five after that, I would be able to get a keystone from him. There's a chance that I can grab a keystone right now. Oh, so I think that is, I think I was right there. I think I gave him the first five, and now any five after that will be able to equal uh, a keystone. So I, I don't have one of those just yet. A little later, I'll probably have to commit some time, maybe I'll do one right now, I'll have to c commit some time wandering around here to fight some more of those guys. and The, the El Vibrato mechanisms and stuff, so I can get more scrap. A right, quick 25 giddy-ups. I've had that encounter before, so I wasn't going to bother reading it. I've probably run into a lot of these at this point. Wow, I just got a crazy amount of stuff from there. You crack open that walnut and help yourself to the delicious nut meats inside. That's very strange. I don't want barb soap anymore. We already we're well past the, the boring springs where that was useful. Rancher's pistol, I don't think I've had that. It was important that ranchers be well armed initially because of cattle rustlers and later because of cattle. Uh, I, I've, I've been increasingly pushed that I should probably be using the toilet pistol because of the poison damage it does. I'm really hesitant about that. It'll be so strong and powerful because it, it can deal up to like 45 poison damage even when I'm only doing like two or three damage with the pistol itself but so many things are immune to poison so I'm really nervous about that but a medical gun I found another thing if you don't think about it too much a pistol is just a more effective syringe yeah don't overthink that because that's less than correct <laughs> plus 30 HP that's pretty damn good cool that was just a random bonus gun. We've got a lot of shit out of that crate. Assuming that all came out of the crate itself. Damn it, I still don't... I can't upgrade foraging still. Oh, there's definitely safes to be cracked. And locks to be picked. Ooh, speaking of... You find a safe on the side of the trail. Ironic, you think to yourself, that it's in such an unsafe location. Crack it, I can finally crack a safe. Cool. I might need to bounce around all these old locations at some point, maybe this episode, and go look for all the lock picking and safe cracking opportunities that I've missed, because there's probably going to be a handful. I didn't have safe cracking at all, and I didn't have a high enough lock pick, so there might have been a bunch of cool stuff that I missed. One other place that I wanted to go to, I want to go back to the Penning Cemetery to try and give that guy that desert ape again. I, I've convinced myself since recording that episode that it must be a thing, and I just forgot to talk to this guy about it. I had tried to place it there myself. I noticed you're missing ape. Yeah, that ridiculous fool Kellogg stole it to use for anatomy lessons. I tried to tell him it's stupid to use an ape skeleton to teach human anatomy, especially when there's plenty of actual human skeletons out in the desert for free. He just wouldn't hear it, though. Listen, I'll give you 50 meat to go and steal it back for him. Shh, 50 bucks for burglary? I was hoping that he would up his offer if I was just like, oh, no. Hey, hey, recovery, not burglary. And heck, that's years of your membership paid back. <laughs> Maybe as many as, well, you look like a risk taker. Three? <laughs> okay, I'll get it for you. I'm on my way, and then, here, just take it back. I happen to have it right here. Marvelous. Ooh, and the experience. Damn, and I should double check and see what the hell it does. Well, while I'm at it, where do you keep the pack rat? Yeah, some damn fool hippies stole it. No idea what they wanted it for. There's a reward for anyone who recovers it. Sure, I'll get it. Uh, the Fort of Darkness. Bunch of hippies staying at the Fort of Darkness? That's a peculiar name. And you're missing buffalo. I never actually had a buffalo, but I set the pedestal up just in case. If you can find me enough buffalo bones for a whole skeleton, I'll buy them off you for 50 meat. 
Only 50 again? I'm trying bumping that up. That could be up to 10 years worth of membership, assuming you don't smoke too much. Or in bed. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, list of buffalo bones. And the buffalo pile. I'm on my way. Well, what kind of bones do I need? How many of them do I actually have? List of all the bones in a buffalo. I can't actually read it. So many places to go. Everyone's been super warning me that there's a particular puzzle and storyline that I think relates to the buffalo pile where you can possibly get a third companion or partner. I guess second partner, third overall person in the, in the party. I think it was at the buffalo pile. Uh, I'm so excited because it could be so useful, but I'm so anxious because I don't want to ruin my chances to get an extra partner. That could be so helpful. I'm going to try it. I'm pulling myself out a notepad because I was told to. there's like hints that are dropped to help me not screw things up. Where's my pen? I can't find my pen. There. I got myself a pen, a notepad. I'm going to write this stuff down. Oh, I must have ran into a thing on the way there. Do you hear gunshots and someone shouting nearby and decide to investigate? This instinct is basically what separates an adventurer from a sane person. You find a bandit in scorched and blackened clothes, wildly firing his pistol at the scenery. Everything he shoots bursts into flames somehow. Go to hell, cactus! Go to hell, scorpion! Go to hell, rock! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we've got a real character here. I ain't disagreeing. Just sending a little scenery to the cow lords below. How's about I send you two? You'll make fine and dandy pets for my masters. This guy's a demon? No, thank you. Knew I hated this guy for a reason. He's he's on the side of, of the cows. Throw him dynamite to help him blow things up. Uh, give him a message. I should probably just hornswoggle him. I do want to keep my dynamite, but I feel like he could do something really interesting if I gave him dynamite. Oh, it's so tempting. Like, what would he do with it? Let's just hornswoggle him. Yeah, listen, bud. You send in all these rocks and cactuses and crap to the cow lords? That's why I'm here. I'm a messenger. Oh, you don't say? Well, let's hear you prove it. Moo? Hmm, well, that checks out all right. What's the message? They said to knock it off. They've got plenty of rocks and cactuses and stuff in hell already. Well, dang. I hope I didn't make them mad or nothing. Or is it customary to tip messengers from hell? Yes. Yes, it certainly is. You gain meat and experience. Nice. I'm going to be so tempted about the meat. Holy fuck. Well, this is probably a good place to get uh, <laughs> buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. But isn't there a sentence that if you just say, like, buffalo six or seven times, buffalo, 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 that, that like, has four five different meetings or whatever, so that's technically a correct sentence. I don't remember the exactness of it. Oh yeah, look at that. Buffalo, 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 and then and then the buffalo to buffalo, buffalo. That is a hell of a pile of buffaloes, though. Let's give ourselves a, a closer look at that. What a beaut, but also kind of terrifying. There's some shit going on in here. Nothing to be said about that one. I'll probably get some bones around here, right? It's covered with a bunch of weird cards. Take a look at one. Bloody spider. Weird. Aberrant specter. Horrible. Oozing bear. Horrible. Oozing skeleton. So grim. These are probably... Duck-sized hippopotamus. These are probably random, right? What kind of game is this? I, I'm hoping that... Maybe there's some sort of clue hidden in there. Abominable centaur. Duck-sized duck. Horse-sized duck, horse witch. Uh, that's, that's about all that we're going to get from there. Is that some kind of weird Cards Against Humanity? Or something like that, perhaps? The Vat Room. It's covered in beakers. Uh, a giant vat of blood. Vat of milk. That's less threatening than the blood. Giant vat of ichor. Nasty. And filled with lemonade. Oh okay, wait, I I know from commenters that there's something with all of this that has to be done in a certain order. I don't know what order. I don't know. I like. I don't even want to pick up a beaker yet. I want to investigate things as thoroughly as I can before I start doing things, so I don't ruin my opportunity here. 
Atop the slab, there's a skeleton-shaped indentation with a buffalo skull-shaped indentation where the normal human skull-shaped indentation should be. That's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up in possession of bones necessary to fill in the indentation. Ooh. I need the bones to give to the, the petting cemetery guy, but maybe also I hang on to them for here? I have tons of human bones right now, so I thought maybe I could just go for it. You look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo human skeleton hybrids locked in there. Jesus. Three to a cell. The keys are hanging right next to the door. You could let some out if you wanted, but they look pretty angry. Leave them alone for now. I wonder if they would give Susie a notch because they're partially cows. I don't think I'm going to mess with that right now. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full of bone, buffalo and human bones carefully sorted. Grab a buffalo's worth. That was nice and easy. <laughs> you consult the list the guy at the petting cemetery gave you and grab all of the bones. This wooden box contains enough bones to build exactly one buffalo skeleton. I'd be so happy to get these. I didn't even need my anatomical learning, like did he draw me pictures or whatever? I sure was, I'm sure I'm good at collecting bones. Uh, I guess there's nothing I can do with that right now a second time. I thought maybe I could build myself my own buffalo-human hybrid with all that. I just keep venturing further and further here. They should really use scented candles in here. Is it a little stinky, maybe? Ooh, does every single toilet in this game give me experience? I somehow didn't know that. There's a little wooden container filled with reading material. Whoa! Modern snake oiler. This is probably the last one of these I can possibly get, because I think I have that the, the final skill. Maybe if I find one more, there'll be like a new set of skills that you can, like a new skill you can only get after you've had every skill. Maybe? Bad medicine first, do no harm, is how the oath you didn't take starts. <laughs> Reduces enemy moxie by five. Uh, probably really rarely going to use that, but you don't want anyone else using the toxin against you, though, so you destroy the magazine. That's the first magazine destroyal that made sense, honestly. There's a pile of trash next to the bad toilet. You got the discipline slip. There's a little slip of pink paper here. Looks like one of the necromancer's cultists got written up. Two more of these and he'll be ritually eviscerated. Nothing personal, just corporate policy. <laughs> don't take it personally. You read over the infraction listed on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Didn't I run into some dude running around gathering mushrooms? I think I fought and killed him. I think I threw like a million dynamite sticks at him. Curious, you stick the slip in your journal? I should check that out. What more could we add to it? We already know about the robe. Uh, the ley lines from the professor. The hell cow energy. You found a discipline slip that mentioned dangerous mushrooms, but you don't really know what to do with that information. You, If only you knew more about mycology. If only... I actually worked with a guy who did his masters in mycorrhizal interactions, but I didn't learn a lot about it. Presumably neither did the grimy. Uh, pick it up, why not? Black hood, this is the kind of hood that minions of the necromancer might wear. Or you could wear it, I guess, now that you've got it. Well, I can't, but bottle of buffalo tranquilizers? This heavy glass bottle's labeled Buff Out Buffalo Tranquilizer and has a handful of pills rattling around in it. I don't think it's a battle item. That must be some sort of uh, something or other I can do. Bones rule. An austere cot. A very sloppy cot. Ooh, this one needs lock picking three. Has a serious padlock on it. Buffalo soldier diagram. This is a detailed diagram of one of those buffalo skeleton human skeleton <laughs> hybrid things they're making at Buffalo Pile. Bunch of teeth and stuff, old wedding ring, uh, it's just a silver thing. This could be the useful one, maybe I can build myself a, a hybrid creature. Decent sized wardrobe, you settle in amongst the thick black robes. It's pretty comfortable. Wait, I guess? Be pretty silly to get out immediately. You wait and wait and finally hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists. Well, I haven't fought any of them, there's cultists just wandering around in here. Pass through on their way from somewhere to do somewhere, to, to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they say, but you do hear... Oh, and here's where my notepads are going to come in handy. Doug, it's blood... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this shorthand. B after Icker. I guess I'll cut around me writing this stuff out. Just trust me that I'm going to write these down every time I come across it. 
Fail and turn to liquor. That doesn't sound half bad at this point. You guys are jerks. Wait some more? You wait a little longer and the cultists pass through again. The same ones? You overhear something different. Get it straight, Doug. Milk before Icker, soldiers, soldier wakes up quicker. Milk before Icker, soldier wakes up quicker. Wait some more? Uh, they pass through again. No, remember the rhyme, milk after blood, ritual's a dud. So don't, don't do milk after blood. So I'll, I'll leave a little, don't do that. Icker after blood, way to go stud. That's a good one. Icker after blood, I already knew that one. Why is Doug having so much trouble with this? I'll just keep waiting it out and hopefully they'll just keep saying things. They just, they just said that one again. Uh, and remember Doug, Icker after... Milk. Icker. Wait, I thought it was Icker before milk a moment ago. Let me go back. Milk before Icker. Milk before Icker. And Icker after milk. Okay. Okay, good. So that one's, that one's confirmed then. Icker before blood. Bad idea, bud. I already have Icker uh, after blood is good too. Fuck this. The stupid pen that I'm using is running out of ink. Wait up, I gotta have another pen on me. There we go. I have to go dig around for a new pen. Let me get set back up again here. Wait more. Blood after Icker is bad. Yeah, that's basically the same as what he just said. Blood before milk, as obsolete as the world Thelk. <laughs> that's kind of a stretch. Wait, so I think that means blood can't be before or after milk. Milk after Icker, might as well try to reanimate uh, Wicker, so that one's bad as well. Blood before Icker, start the soldier's ticker. Milk before blood, ritual is good, I'm guessing. Why well, can't you get this? Probably because it doesn't rhyme. So I guess he said milk before blood, ritual is good. <laughs> uh, do I have that one? Milk before blood, that one is new. Oh wait, I must not have written this one down before. I've come across it like three times, I didn't write it down yet. Icker after blood, way to go stud. Alright, I need a minute to work through this. So I need blood after Icker, milk before Icker, I also says I need blood before Icker, and milk before blood? So... Milk, blood, ichor, blood is what I'm looking at right now. I gotta sure that up with everything else. I can't have milk after blood. I don't. I need to have ichor after milk. I don't have that right now. Oh shit, I can't have ichor before blood. So that very first thing I did was wrong, I think. No way. Let's try and work through this in a different order. I need milk before blood. I need ichor after blood. I can have blood before ichor. I can have ichor after milk. Does it have to be immediately after or like, cause I can't. So if, if I have M, if I have, I'm looking at my notes here. If I have MBI, so milk, blood, ichor, then that technically has ichor after milk, but it's not immediately after. And I don't know if I need immediately after. I do have milk before ichor. I have, I don't have blood after ichor though. Oh shit, but if I write blood after ichor, that's the same thing I was stuck with before. So I can have blood after ichor, but I can't have ichor before blood. So I think that crosses that out. Like I could have blood after ichor, but I can't have ichor before blood. Something fucked up there. Either I read something wrong, or those two are meant to cancel out. So if I take out that fourth ingredient, the blood, then that should be fine, right? It should just be milk, blood, then ichor? That one part is what sketches me out. I'm scrolling all the way back to the top here to read what that very first one was. The very first one I wrote down... Was this the very first one they wrote down? Blood after ichor and turn the liquor. Oh, so that's a bad one. So I can't have that. I can't have... I can't have blood after ichor. And so then that, I don't have to worry about those things like canceling out or whatever. It should just work. Milk, blood, ichor. 
Wait, wait like a couple more times to see if they say anything different. Okay, I'm still not gonna go make this yet. I still want to explore more. That's a wicked looking leather bound tome on the pedestal. Like this, I need, I need things like, um, this diagram and stuff before I commit to any of this and other confirmations I'm on the right, on the right track. I probably don't, I, I'm not going to bother raising my mysticality enough to ever use these, but I might as well read it and learn it anyways. Seems pretty dangerous. Yeah, skeleton buddy. Could be funny. Are you certain the dark arts are no laughing matter? Read it, I said. The words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones and then whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. <laughs> Raise skeleton body. Wait, perk or skill? You can ensorcel skeleton bones and then use them to summon skeletons to protect you in combat. Examine skeleton bones in your inventory to enchant them? Wait, is this a perk, not a skill that I use in combat? As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Uh, your hair instantly loses all its color. Oh, I'm becoming a necromancer. No! Minus Moxie. Bullshit! But at least I would have skeleton buddies. Your hair has gone prematurely white due to your meddling in the affairs of the netherworld. Maybe I don't learn any more necromancer skills if they're gonna make me look less cool and ruin my moxie it is it is a perk though so that's something i can do outside of battle that could be a cool way to kind of protect myself a little bit honestly get a buffer going between myself and and my enemies wait oh i just went in a massive circle i was telling i was thinking to myself i was gonna have to backtrack through there eventually through all of that to go to this left door. All right, well in that case, I'm just gonna do another run through of things, cautiously investigating everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh shit, what the fuck is the point of lemonade? Why do I need the lemonade then? All right, this is why we do more investigating is because that the lemonade doesn't make sense yet. Uh, I shall leave the slab alone. Not gonna bother with that just yet. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates. Oh, grab the bones for a soldier, because I found the diagram of him. Ah, uh, you got the buffalo soldier bones. This is all the bones, both human and buffalo, that are necessary to assemble the buffalo soldier. Alrighty, that's all I that's all I needed for now, right? Slap him on the slab, probably? You lay the bones in the indentation, unsure of what to do next, you start grabbing bottles and supplies from various shelves and drawers and working on the skeleton, more or less at random. Some bone glue here, some artificial ligaments here, some horn polish, well, on the horns, that one was pretty obvious. Now all you need is, hmm, the funnel at the top says pour reanimation fluid here, looks like you're going to need some reanimation fluid, you undo all of your work and collect the bones, walk away. Oh, we couldn't just leave them there? What is this? Is there a coat on the rack here? Robe hanging on the rack. Search it. Buffalo pile locker key. This is a little key found in buffalo pile. It looks like it goes to a footlocker. It stands to reason that the footlocker is probably also in the buffalo pile. Oh, that's probably one of the ones I lockpicked. Well, shit. Could have could have saved myself a lockpick. Those are relatively high demand for those. I don't really want to be wasting them if I don't have to. This is everything I already hid in there. I did all of that. Okay. Okay, guys. Take one of the big beakers. Oversized chemical beaker. This is a gallon-sized glass chemical beaker. The lines on the side prove that it went to college. <sighs> milk. Blood. Icker. Milk. You open the milk faucet and fill the beaker a third of the way up. Blood. You open the blood faucet and pour some blood into the already partially full beaker. <sighs> Icker. The liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Watch the reaction. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. The intense heat of the reaction fuses the Icker spigot into a useless mass of metal. That sounds like I fucked up. How will it end? The boiling subsides and what's left in the beaker is... Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Holy shit. Oh, I was, I, it turned into metal for a second. I thought for sure that was, uh, that was a botch job, that that wasn't going to work. When the smoke clears, you're left with a beaker full of liquid that is unmistakably 
buffalo reanimating fluid. It's unmistakable because somehow the reaction caused the beaker to become labeled, and the label says that it's buffalo reanimating fluid. This is a beaker full of foul, bubbling fluid that you concocted from the ingredients in those giant vats at Buffalo Pile. That's just science. That should be everything I need then, right? Uh, put the bones on the slab. I mean, I don't know what the fuck the point of lemonade was, but do it. You pour the fluid into the funnel and watch as it travels down all of the spirally glass tubes, all chemistry-like, and stuff into the skeleton on the slab. After a few moments, the newly assembled buffalo soldier stirs to life. Greet it, as friendly as possible, please. Welcome to the world, uh, what's your name? Buffalo. Your name's just Buffalo? What about the, uh, the human parts of you? That seems a mite uncreative. You didn't let me finish. Well, please. Sorry, go on. Buffalo, Buffalo. He pauses for several seconds. Pleased to meet you, Buffalo, Buffalo. What's- you still didn't let me finish. Oh, all right, go, go on then. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. Uh, okay, so your name is Three Buffaloes? Oh, achievement! You won't come out tonight. What is what is the achievement here? Reanimate Buffalo 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 Bill. Bill. Your name is Bill? My name is Buffalo 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 Bill. Pay attention. I, I want to know the exact... So is his name Buffalo Bill? And then he's got a buffalo head, so he's Buffalo Buffalo Bill. And then Buffalo means something, so he's Buffalo 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 Bill. So can you remember anything from before? Oh, because he does, does he have the brain of a cow or a human? I remember eating grass. All right, that makes sense. Uh, anything else? Shooting. Lots of shooting. And people cheering. About the shooting? Hmm. Seems like you have the combined memories of your buffalo and human parts. That sounds accurate. So was he both a horrific cow stomping and killing people but also getting shot at? Well, what will you do next? I guess I'll just wander around and try to find a purpose. You could travel with us, perhaps? Fingers crossed. Well, sure, that sounds okay, but first I want to take care of something. Bill stomps off. You hear a crunch, then a guy saying, Hey, give me back my rifle. Then you hear some rifle shots, some screams, and some silence. Sheesh. Bill walks back into the room, smiling, you think. Well, that about does it for this place, I'd say. If you can, think of anything you'd like to do with the bones. I reckon they're all yours at this point. Unlimited bones. Wait, no fucking way. Can I actually just summon unlimited bone friends now? You've secured access to an unlimited supply of bones in case you need bones for anything. What do you know? I absolutely definitely do. Let's get out of here. Buffalo 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 Bill will now assist you in combat. I'm fist pumping. You guys can't see it. But I'm super thrilled. Yes. Let's. And allow me to attempt to reanimate uh, a bone or two as soon as I find out where, where it is. Skeleton bone? Ensorcelate. You carve some writhing glyphs into the bone with your pen knife and it hiss black words into them. The bone shivers, eager to please. You found an unfortunate spirit in this bone. At your urging, it will spring forth into an entire skeleton and go between you and those who would justifiably do you harm. This item is used in combat. Oh, so I don't automatically have a skeleton running around with me. Can I ensorcel things like the gold skull? No, I can't. Oh, ooh, ooh, someone else pointed this out to me that I actually have that postcard. Oh, what a relief to have another companion. That's so, ugh, oh, stressful as hell. Smoldering hole in the ground, uh, f uh, fight it. Oh yeah, snake, good. I want to kill snakes. Whoa, Buffalo 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 Bill just went for it, didn't he? Shit, look at all his moxie. Someone pointed out that he does half of a uh, target's damage. So, is there anything I can use that wouldn't kill this? I'm sure there is. Just as a as a demo, these snakes suck. So I'm going to deploy one of these just to test this out. And and Sally, uh, Susie, keep getting them mixed up. I want you to not kill them because I want to see what Buffalo does. Yeah. Okay, so I thought I thought he would do 21 the first time and 21 the second time. He does half of their current health. So he'll never be able to kill anything. Maybe if they're at one health he could kill it, but... Hot fucking damn. Oh, and snake liver. That's one of the things we needed to make better potions. Ooh, hard mode. I think you've met your match. 
and its name is the Grimy Slinger. That is just absolutely incredible. I feel like giving Buffalo 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 Bill a little test run there was a, a, a good place to let things sit for now. So next time, uh, we got a few different destinations. I got all sorts of things on my mind. I'm kind of reeling from having this third partner, so I can't <laughs> communicate it very well. But I got plans. I got plans of what to do next. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the warning to, like, take my time in that location to make sure I got things 100% right. It's a fun little puzzle to solve. I'll see you again soon.